So this short video is to show you how to print um, your students' work from Google Classroom. You can certainly print one thing at a time um, just by going into Classwork. So if I go into Classwork and I pull up a student's assignment, I can um, select to print each student's assignment individually by opening it up. So I'm going to demo that real quick. So this is if I want an individual assignment. I can see each kid has an assignment. I click on their assignment. And at the top of the screen up here, you'll get the print button. So I can obviously print a student's work this way, but that's cumbersome because you have to hit print on each document. So there is another way. There's just quite a few clicks that you have to go through. So when you're in your assignment in Google Classroom, you actually want to navigate to the folder. You can get to this straight through Google Drive as well. So I can click on the folder and it's going to send me into Google Drive. And you'll notice if I'm in Google Drive, it's gone from my drive into classroom into the name of my classroom and then the the title of whatever my assignment was so from here what i'm actually going to do you need to do this on a desktop um, not a chromebook i click and i go down to download so i'm going to download the whole folder as opposed to an individual document so under that title you're going to click download the whole folder you're going to see it's going to take a moment it's preparing my download It's taking a little bit for it to download. The bigger your file, obviously, the longer it's going to take to download. Okay, so I can see I'm going to hit leave. It prompts me because it's downloading. You're going to get a green check mark down there when it's downloaded. And this box is going to pop up. So the first time I'm actually saving the compressed zipped folder. So I just hit save. You can always change the name of this. I usually just save it as is. And you're gonna see it download down here. If you're in Firefox, um, your downloads usually pop up at the top of the screen. I'm in Chrome. So I'm gonna open that. Now if I go into here, I can't print these because they're not extracted. What the computer does is it kind of compiles all your files so that I can um, download them without taking too long and then you've got to extract them. So I go to extract them and I go ahead and browse and find a folder that I'm going to put them in. So you don't want to extract them to the same folder because it makes it more of a pain to upload. So I'm actually just going to extract them to a folder I already have. Select folder. So it says where I'm going to extract them to. And I always check show extracted files when complete. Okay, and I hit extract. Probably best to keep each assignment in a different folder um, and create new folders as you go so it makes it a little easier for printing. So here's my where are my friends and all I do now is I take and I hold down so I would click the first one and then I click I hold down shift and I click a selection you can't select more than 12 at a time I think is the limit um, and then I'm gonna go up to share and I'm just gonna hit the print button. When I hit the print button, it's gonna send these, it's gonna open them all real fast and it's gonna send them all to um, whatever printer is my default. So make sure it's on the printer you wanna send them to first. Um, and you just hit print and then you would grab the next section. So I hit, click on that first document, I hold down shift, I click on the last document. Now you'll notice this time I selected 19 and the print goes gray. That means I can't um, print that many at once. So you'd want to select those um, only 12. And if you need to see how many you've selected down at the bottom, oops, make sure you don't turn on your sticky keys. Just say no if you happen to get that up. See it says 15. So it actually the print is still turned on. So it is letting me print 15 this time. And that's all you would do. Um, it will print them and send them to the printer. Just keep in mind if the document is two pages, it's sending two. Occasionally I get a student, like the student where there's four documents. Um, and so you can open those individually to see if you wanna print them all or if you just print 
um, them all, you might end up with some blank documents. It kind of depends on how the kid did things in Google Classroom. Sometimes it accidentally creates other documents in the background. Um, not a big issue for right now.